Uh, all right, uh, let's go straight to uh, Trendwave. And we've got uh, Amal Kansime standing by to give us the latest. Amal, <laughs> good morning to you. Uh, What's would you going? do that? Amal, I need to ask you, would you try to do that kind of exercise? I mean, canoeing. Ka canoeing, yeah. Um, yeah. I do not think so. <laughs> I, I have a lot of imaginations of what is in the water. So I don't think I want to try that. Since, since when did Africans <laughs> begin to fear water? I don't understand. <laughs> I, I don't know. Anyway, uh, what's going on in, on the trends, Amal? Yes, now I think the biggest trend of the week has to be the Living Faith Church, which had 41 pastors in one day, like in one sitting. 41 pastors were fired because their church's growth index was had fallen below expectation. Now, um, one of the pastors, ex-pastors, should I say, came up and made a video explaining how and why he was fired. Let's take a look at it. On the 1st of July, I received a, a call from the state church that the state pastor wants to see me. So I thought I am the only one. So I was surprised. I went and when I went, I saw some pastors, over 40 pastors seated. So I joined them. A few minutes later, we were issued a letter. And here is the letter. Here is the letter. So I tried to open the content of the letter to see what was there. I saw that it's a letter of release and it says, consequent upon the recent performance review, which revealed that your church growth index falls below expectations. Please be informed that your service as a pastor in charge are no longer required from this commission with immediate effect. You are to vacate the official accommodations of the ministry in your custody, including the staff ID card and to the area pastor before departure. So I called the management the following day to know what has really happened. This is I, I am not... Uh, I can only I can only imagine how they feel because being evicted with immediate effect for you know those who had accommodation from the church, but social media has gone crazy over this and celebrities have come out. Celebrities like Daddy Freeze have come out to give comments. Let's take a look at the comments from the people. We have um, Jer Bernard who says all these prophets and their hand prophecies. That's how one prophesied that I will receive my NYSC call up later this year. Meanwhile, I dropped out in SS2. Wow. That's Jer Bernard. Um, right. it, 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 I mean, he came as a shocker. Oh, okay, we have another one. Amal? <laughs> yes, we have. Um, I should have waited for you to see. I think that's what um, Daddy Freeze was talking to Sam Clef about. Sam Clef came actually to apologize and was talking about the fact that, you know, he didn't know three years ago that this is what's going on, but now he, you know, he has seen the light. And then Daddy Freeze said, I should have waited for you to see what I saw. So Jer Bernard is saying that next thing that came to my mind was, I see Snake I'll go. You know the song, I see, yeah, I saw, yeah. I see Snake. Uh, I'm, 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 quite, I'm quite curious because he mentioned the name of the church, Living Faith Church yeah. or something like that. But if I remember the, quite correctly, uh, the statements he quoted from the uh, supposed letter of termination, it says, and if I can remember correctly, it says, consequence to your performance review. Mm -hmm. Wait, wait. It's the ministry. Below not expectation, though. Uh, let, it, let's also not forget that. I mean, one of the consequences, uh, I mean, performance are, review. Was, was he employed? And they said you can hereby, you know, I mean, to vacate the premises, with drop the ID card. Effect, drop all church property. Church. Well, it's not church. It's not, you know, a calling. You know, a that's the thing. That, that, that was my feeling. I felt like, you know, being a pastor is a calling. I didn't know he's a sales rep. And it looks like, he, like if he had a contract that was terminated. Yeah, yeah so I would like say, I would say the pastor had targets. He had targets that he needed to meet up with. And if he did not meet up to those targets, then he would have to. He was falling short of the expectation of the church, yeah. as it were. And he had salary, week, week, uh, monthly salary. Because oh, I don't yeah, understand. Pastors, pastors it's do clearly, have salaries. So I think it, 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 has put new, salaries. it has put a new light, which I think Daddy Fritz has been talking about a lot. And let's just take a look at his comment from when he heard the news. He says, I'm going to try with my pigeon today. <laughs> he says, they'll suck faster because of low income. Say, hey, <laughs> say him not generate enough money for him, church parish. In short, okay, you know what? That, that is it right there. I don't think I want to miss the words. But that was his uh, comment. Amal, let me help you. Let me help you with it without being pigeon. <laughs> then, okay, so this is from Daddy Freeze. Then, then sack pastor because of low income. He's, then say he not generate enough money for in church parish. In short, he no parish share quote-unquote, for the parish. Mm. Nigeria needs to wake up from these religious dreams, delusions, and hallucinations. Mm. FRZ said that.
All right. Yeah. Uh, I do know Daddy Fritz has always been at the head of, you know, talking about churches and religion and all of that. So the moment this news broke out, I'm pretty sure everyone was waiting for his comment. But that has been, that was it for Living Faith. So I can't wait to see how they bounce back from this. Uh, what statement they're the going to put out? Has the church released a statement or any organization, any part of the church officially, but perhaps the head branch or what other branch should, or the branch that supposedly lets him go. Any statements from them? Because this is quite bizarre. It is. And I don't think they have anything to say right now because the letter is quite enough evidence. So, But I can't wait to see how they, I really want to see how yeah. they bounce back from this. I wish mm -hmm. them the best. All right, so what, what up next, uh, Anna, Amal, when it comes to the trend waves? So next we have the wonderful actor Idris Elba who believes, Idris Elba believes that social media users should, have, should use their ID before registering. Basically what he's trying to say is you cannot have your Instagram or your social media, basically your username should be your actual name, basically to stop cyberbullying. And this came after I think three footballers were racially attacked in the comment section. But people, the trolls that usually attack, on social media, hide under usernames, you know, pretty, ferocious one, you know, all of that. So he came and said, people in the public eye get verified on social media, symbolized by a blue tick. The process of verification requires them to prove their identity so everybody knows who is speaking. Social media companies should make this mandatory for all users. Currently, social media is like boarding a plane and not having to show your ID. That would never happen. And he went on and talking about how um, the cowards, the trolls hide behind the privacy of their usernames. And he feels like people should come out and, you know, use your name. I should use Amal Kansime, not, you know, not pretty baby one. So that's what he's trying to fight for. And, you know, some people believe that it's right. You know, let's stop the cyberbullying. Other people believe that they don't want agencies knowing their real information and their ID and where mm. they stay. So it's been quite divided, and we have some comments from this. So let's take a look at the comments. We have Lego Prenio who says Nigeria, see Nigeria is concurring with him, but are against social media regulation, which has been um, what most Nigerians have been saying that it's similar. Cole Knight says Wahala, then we should all have blue tick since we'll all submit ID. This specific person is looking for verification. We have Raven saying he's talking about all the racism that has been going on. Three black football players in the UK were racially attacked in their comments, and that is very, very sad. So, yeah, and then we have well, Doug Love says, I'm not with it. I like my privacy. The government, jobs, schools, police do not need to know my social media pages. Some of us don't like privacy. Just because your life is public don't mean everybody wants theirs to be. All so, right. you know, like I said, it's been divided. Some people, I don't know, what, what would you guys, would you want to use your... I mean, I think both of you use your actual names, but are you for this or against this? Oh, this, this, this is social media, man. There's never any for or against. There are always, you know, gray areas, gray exactly. lines yeah. in between. So it's never really... And, and it's, it's, a free, it's, a, it's a free space. So, I mean, mm. you should be allowed to do as you please, as long as mm -hmm. you're, not, um, you're not going against or you're not um, um, bullying say, people, mm. yeah. breaching into people's privacy or their own private space as well. So I, I think it's a free, it's a free space. All right, I'm out. Thank you very much uh, for the latest when it comes to the trend waves. Uh, we'll keep an eye on the pastor. Perhaps he might get to a place in another church. You never know, know. You never can you tell. Never know. <laughs> Thank you very much, Amal.